said Sega Master, that's true. What was the first Sega handheld? Nomad? The Nomad? The one that you put like six D-size ba <laughs> batteries in it, it ran a Genesis game oh. for like 30 minutes. I mean, it literally, it, it was awesome. <laughs> 30 was, minutes, if you were fucking lucky. Did you have that? one? No. I had one, dude. Like, really, literally, game you game? didn't have a power game game ad game. adapter for it. It was almost useless. Oh, really? Yeah, yes, it would, run, it would it. run like it would run like an hour or so on a bunch of batteries. And it was like, it was use those old big honking things. It took like five or six of them. And I thought we were naming them so fast at a certain point, I thought I was going to start naming Ben Heck modded console <laughs> Portable 360. <laughs> It's kind of that would have been kind of cool. Exciting! Actually. Did you guys go to the video game history museum at E3? That was one of my favorite things at E3. It was, it was so awesome. cool. Yeah, All right, was, then right. we should talk about that. It was I didn't so go cool. to I have the video. I don't nothing. Good. I would love to see it, dude. It's so good. I I can put this up on jeffkanata.com. <laughs> Check it out on jeffkanata.com. Con. 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 <laughs> Two N's, one T. I'm striking it out with a new, a completely new dot something. And thirty thousand <clears> followers. <throat> Jeff that's, that's, that's striking out with thirty thousand dollars. That's pretty impressive. Co. Uk. Thank you. I'm just about to crack three thousand. Three thousand what? That's you, exciting. I'm five hundred from twenty. That's that's good. What are we talking? I don't know what's going on. Twenty followers. We're, we're, oh, I, <laughs> I don't know I've what's already going hit three thousand. Jeff, your face. Jeff hit thirty thousand today. What? Yeah, he's a big player. Yeah. How many accounts of those really are your own that you made? Twenty-nine thousand. <laughs> Jeff Canada one. Jeff Canada two. Jeff Canada three. You have a lot of parody accounts. People trying to be you. Have you ever searched yourself on Twitter? I do. Yeah, you do. No, that's that's super not super creepy. I should do that probably. <laughs> you just Sorry, really Jeff. disturbed me. What it? <laughs> you do too, Garnet. You have parody accounts. I know. Oh, you know what's great about don't, whenever don't uh, egg them on. You know what's great about every time <laughs> that Garnet, that Garnet actually <laughs> tweets anything is how I get replied by X one. So that's not all the Twitter account. That is the biggest thing. Yeah. Where was that? Wait, I want to see. They had all the stand up <laughs> arcade games. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, it was like in the corner. It was in the corner of one of the halls. It like, was on the west and it, hall. It was like, if you walk in, it was to the left. Oh, man. Galaga. I'm pretty sure it was the west hall. <laughs> Galaga. Astro Blaster. Check this out. Dig Dug. Yeah, so those are all the stand-up ones. And then, of course, the 2600. There it is. The machine that started it all <laughs> for a young Jeff Kanata. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You can, you can freaking walk up and play Missile Command. And here. Oh, I played that game for so much. Look at this, dude, Robbie the Robot. Did they awesome. have Paperboy there? I didn't see they didn't it. have a stand up version of Paperboy, no. Uh, Look at Power Glove. Power Glove. Sweet. They had everything, dude. Did you put it on and go, I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah. Power Gloves. The inspiration. For the connect. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's where you're going with it? <laughs> they had a Dreamcast set up. They had, Ooh, they had the black Saturn. Well, they had the black. Oh, that was something that didn't look closely enough. <laughs> looks like mine. I don't How do you, wait a minute. This is not fair because he's just naming consoles now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He practiced for this knock around. Wait, wait, wait. You, you should, you I should have done much better. You knew the question. I didn't. And then, of course, this, they had like old PC games. And I took a picture nice. of one of my favorites. One on one. All right, let's All do right, it. let's go. Uh, we're going to do this like this. E3 catch up. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Talk about games as long as you want to. If we don't fill three segments with that, then in the third segment we also have some listener feedback and questions from E3 coverage. <coughs> and then we have, we can also spill that into the fourth and do news. And right. uh Zav brought up that uh, some people were asking us also to talk about the Duke Nukem PR fiasco palooza. Yeah. <laughs> palooza, alright. Fiasco palooza. Yeah, it's I think, it, I, think it, I think it can generate an interesting a, conversation it, about... It's a fiasco palooza. Yeah, I think the, the conversation fiasco is about that's good PR sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Media hostage. I make up words really well. I don't, I don't think we necessarily need to beat the dead horse about talking about what exactly happened and who it happened to, but... Right, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, are we not? We're not going to talk about what we've been playing. What? We're not going to do what we've he, been playing. He obviously wasn't listening to anything you were saying. But <laughs> I thought you said we we're doing three E three segments. I would 
clearly wasn't listening to it. <laughs> I'll, uh, do. I'll pick up on it. You were watching I was yourself still, on your iPhone. I was. I was replaying the events. I was going back there going, Gah! Why am I even here doing this? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do E3 catch up what you've been playing, but also anything else you've been playing. So we'll just sort of talk about we're gonna talk about games for at least the first two segments. Okay. However, it spills into the third segment will be great. We also have some commentary on the E3 coverage with people asking some questions. I thought we'd hit those, Good. and then we'll do the news. And that led us to the discussion about the blacklisting subject. Fiasco Palooza. Fiasco Palooza. Yeah. 2011. I'm, I which, think I'm all cut which I said that I thought that the, let's thing, the thing not to do is to come down to that level of being personal about it because right. I think that it got right. it got ugly. So it's cool to talk about it. We talk about it in the context oh, yeah. of like blacklisting and all that, but let's not dig into like who said what said, that kind of thing. Got right. it. And then we're so done. So E3 catch up, the best condiment of the show. <laughs> <laughs> best, you mean, oh, you mean cats up. <laughs> best condiment of the show. Yeah, got it. All right. Ooh. Can't take you anywhere. I swear. No, you can and if that Garnet says that about you, you got some problems. <laughs> you can take lots of people places. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Two, one, zero. We can confirm. Ignition. Lift off. 